Hi, I am now with Joan Esposito, founder of the Dyslexia Awareness and Resource Center here in Santa Barbara. How are you, Joan? I'm doing very well, thank you for coming out. We are glad to have you in our show. This is a very important topic and I would like to start by explaining our viewers what is dyslexia. Well, dyslexia is a Greek word for difficulty with language. This is dyslexia, Alexia is language. And so I am not dyslexic, I have dyslexia. Mm -hmm. So I have a difficulty with language and ways of spelling. When I see a word on a page, I can't always match the sound to the symbol on the page. So I have a hard time sounding it out. And there's a special way of teaching me how to learn how to do that. Uh, I also have problems with word retrieval, which is another language. So it may take a longer time for me to process what you're saying. The spelling. Mm -hmm. You usually tell with the children they spell phonetically. Mm -hmm. We have problems with the vowel sounds for some reason. Poor handwriting. Um, it's called dysgraphia. I have a bump on my finger here, and usually the students that will come in here and I'll say, Do you have a bump on your finger? You know, does your, does your hand and your arm hurt, ache when you write too much? And yes, and they all touch their arm. Yeah, how do you know I had a bump on my finger? Because usually we hold the pen in a strange way. And there are so many children that might have dyslexia and they don't know. Well, yes, and I know the, um, the general consensus is what, they, what the specialists have found is roughly 20, 15 to 20 percent of the population. And there's no other disability that is, is that high. Tell yeah. me more about the center itself. Uh, what's the purpose of it and when was it founded? Well, my husband and I founded this center 17 years ago. Mm -hmm. And before we founded it, it was we ran this, what we're doing now, we ran it out of our home for three years. And it was, you know, we were working with a lot of juvenile delinquents. Well, let me jump back a little bit. I didn't start to learn how to read until I was 44. And my dyslexia was identified at Santa Barbara City College after my son was identified with dyslexia. And it is hereditary. I believe my father had it. I know one of my brothers definitely has it. I've written stories, a story article on him. It's hereditary. So when I was 44 years old, I went to a workshop in Santa Barbara. It was called Dyslexia and the Criminal Mind. Mm. And I didn't know about the criminal mind, but I knew that just the word dyslexia was there. So my husband and I went, and um, I asked where you could get assessed, and they told me it was Santa Barbara City College. I was assessed. I went back to school, and that's when I started to learn how to read and write. The main idea was, when my husband and I started this, was I didn't know, there was nowhere to go in town. We couldn't find a place to go in town. We couldn't find information. My husband couldn't find information at the local library on this. So we started going to conferences and bringing this information back to Santa Barbara. And we ran this out of our house in Carpentry. And the newspaper did stories on me. And they would, parents would come to me. My son's in juvenile hall and my child can't read. Adults would come to me. Mm. and. Uh, so and then eventually we started the, this nonprofit, and basically what it's about is to help demystify the conditions. Mm -hmm. So when the person comes in here, we need to we help them get over that pain. We help the family understand why, you know, if it's attention deficit and they're not listening to you, or their mind is wandering off, and they're not doing it on purpose. They just have a lot of thoughts going their head at once, and they can't focus. Now, what's the difference with ADD? The attention deficit is a chemical imbalance. So we have neurotransmitters that go around the brain. They go around from what I know, okay, and I'm not an, a doctor, but neurotransmitters go around the brain and they help the brain function. They go around the neuropathways. And as they're going down the neuropathway, they come to a synapse, which is a sp little space, and then they jump over the space into the receptor. Well, with us, they're coming down, the neurotransmitters come down the neuropath and they, they, don't, they don't reach the receptor, they get lost. I described as God gave me a Jaguar for a brain, but mm -hmm. he only supplied me with low-grade petrol. Oh, I see. So what happens? For a little while, that Jaguar will go, mm -hmm. but eventually it breaks down, the engine breaks down. I have a lot of clients who come near who just have the attention deficit disorder, and they don't have any learning disabilities. But I would say that every client I have had in all these years will have dyslexia, they have some form of attention deficit. 
whether it's with hyperactivity or without hyperactivity. Talking back about the center, which is very interesting, all the books that you have here and the yeah. material, I understand that you have uh, what you call multisensory research, which it's part yeah. of videos. We and have, yeah, we have programs. videos, we have books, we have CDs, we have audio tapes. So, you know, if you haven't struggling with reading like I did, we have wonderful DVDs and tapes mm -hmm. on famous people talking about what they have or people talking about how you teach us mm -hmm. uh, or what is ADD. Uh, there's a whole resource here for teachers. We have a lot of teachers come here in the summer and they sit around the floor in here and they just lay down and they have all the books out all over and they're studying for class. Great. We get people from the university coming in and doing their papers in the center. And uh, I'm curious, how do you get funded? It comes from donations, personal donations and grants. We're very fortunate because the people who have been giving us the grants are very passionate about our work. And that's nice, you know, and, and this is the only center in California of its kind. Amazing. Yeah, uh, we would like to see it opened up, mm -hmm. centers like this all over California, because it is a self-help center. I've set it up in such a way that I can teach myself here. I mean, I've set it up for, like, a, a, someone with dyslexia would set it up. So I know how <laughs> we function. So the filing system is a certain way. It's not the alphabet. It's not, it's more numbers. Great. The numbers are better than the alphabet for us because we're not too good with the alphabet. Well, if you would like to have more information, you can always call them. The phone number, I have it here, 805-963-7339. Or you can visit their website at www.dyslexiacenter.org. Really what we're about is awareness, and that's what you're doing for us today. So I really appreciate what you're doing. Yeah. Thank you, John. Thank you very much. For more information on the Nonprofit Spotlight, check our website at www.sbchannels.tv or call 963-3893. If you'd like your nonprofit featured in a future Nonprofit Spotlight, contact us at the information on your screen.